Welcome back to my easy fitness tip series. This is a series of quick and simple tips that you can implement today to make healthy changes in your life and feel better at the end of this year than when you started it. So we're at fit tip number 20 and it is use kettlebells. Kettlebells are one of my favorite pieces of workout equipment to train with. One, because they're fun. Two, because they're a great way to get in both muscle building exercise as well as cardio. They can really get your heart rate up. Three, they do functional exercises really well. So your full body moving together rather than isolating one body part. And four, because you can really train unilaterally very well. So rather than say move a machine with both arms, like a chest press, where one arm can kind of take over, when you're using kettlebells, there'll be a lot of core strength, balance, coordination involved in order to keep the weight in place and perform things with the correct form. So one of my previous videos was a video about Turkish get up. So go back and watch that. That is one of my favorite kettlebell exercises, but I wanted to give you guys a few more exercises that you can do because I can talk about how great kettlebells are, but you need to know how to use them and what to do. So this video is going to show you four exercises that you can do. You could do this as a circuit in like 15, 20 minutes and get a great workout in the morning. I keep a kettlebell in my house and it's one of my favorite ways to just get in a quick workout when I wanna work out hard, but I've only got maybe 20 minutes in the morning to do something. So I'll do exercises like these in a circuit or three sets of each and then move on to the next. But I like the circuit version because you're gonna keep moving without any rest. So it'll get your heart rate up, help you to burn lots of calories and build muscle. So keep watching and I will give you four great exercises that will work out your back, your legs, your shoulders, and your core. So you're hitting a lot of your body and working on those functional movements. So try these out, do it for your next workout, and let me know how it goes in the comments below. And I will see you soon for the next Fit Tip.